President Biden sought to ease concerns about his ability to lead during a highly anticipated news conference. The president spoke to reporters at the conclusion of the NATO summit last night. He stumbled at times, once mistakenly referring to Vice President Kamala Harris as Vice President Trump. But he also appeared more at ease discussing some of the serious foreign policy issues the nation faces. He also downplayed reports that he is scaling back his schedule. It'd be smarter for me to pace myself a little more. And I said, for example, the eight, seven, six stuff, instead of starting a fundraiser at nine o'clock, start at eight o'clock. People get to go home by 10 o'clock. That's what I'm talking about. Well, at least 17 congressional Democrats have said publicly that the president should end his reelection bid. That includes some who announced their feelings after last night's news conference. Fox News anchor Shannon Breen with Fox News Sunday joining me now from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Good morning to you. Good morning, Brandon. All right, so of course you're in Milwaukee to cover the Republican convention. I'm going to ask you about that in just a minute. But yesterday's NATO summit, it was supposed to be Biden's make or break moment. Looks like it was a, a mix of good and bad. Mm -hmm. It depends. If you are a supporter of the president, you thought he did a great job. You will point out that he has decades of foreign policy experience. He was able to talk about different countries and leaders and conflicts with some authority. Uh, that's the big plus and the upside for him. However, Democrats who have been there kind of on the on the edge or those who think he needs to go, they want a different nominee at the top of the ticket, were very frustrated by the performance because they felt like it was good enough to buy him more time to make the argument he should stay in. Um, so they're kind Kind of left in purgatory is the way that they're labeling it this morning. He's got to get out there and do some retail politicking. He'll be in Michigan today. It is those kinds of things that people are going to be watching really closely off the teleprompter, unscripted, one on one with people. How does he do in that scenario? Yeah, because the president even invited it, invited it, saying, watch me. All right, so um, the Republican National mm -hmm. Convention, this kicks off Monday. According to the RNC rules, though, I think former President Trump has to pick his VP before it starts. Is that correct or is this a gray area? You know what, we, we've we been trying to nail this down too. And on Sunday morning, we will have the RNC chair, Michael Watley, with us on Fox News Sunday. So if we don't have the name by then, we will press him to find out exactly how this timeline goes down. Um, you know, President Trump uh, has done television. He's a great producer of suspense. He knows how it all works. And frankly, Republicans, while you normally want all the headlines on you, on your you know convention, on your nominee, on the VP pick, they know that all of the spotlight shifting to them this week actually takes away the spotlight from very difficult headlines for you know the Biden-Harris ticket, for Democrats. So I think there's a bit of mixed emotion in that. They're ready for the excitement of the convention, but also know that the longer those headlines stay on a difficult situation for Democrats, that also benefits them too. All right, we'll be looking forward to it. Shannon, thanks. See you Sunday. All right, Fox News Sunday with Shannon Bream airs right here on Fox 4 Sunday morning at 8 a.m.